Oh, good. good morning, Evelyn. Fine, I found a white shirt. I learned how to embroidery on Christmas Day, 1972. Really? Yep. It turned into a backyard garden. Yeah. Uh, I have to ask Thelma that. Thelma Judy. She used to walk up and down the street scrubbing toilets. She was age 69 when she was born. She's from Atlanta. It wasn't named Georgia until I was born. I was a Georgia Peach when I was about uh, nine years old. Do you mind if I light up? No, go ahead. Where did you grow up, Evelyn? Kennewick, Washington. I moved to Benton County when I got a birth certificate. I was three years old from three to seven, that was all I had. Tell me about your mom and dad. Well, my mom was a uh, handicapped right servant. That's what she called it. And she wrote down the word right. And I went to college that day to a local library and started studying science, why sugar was needed, made, and um, enclosed. And I found uh, this braided bread, and I ate all of it. It was a sugar donut. I brought it home, and two more of them appeared. I had a kitchen counter with little gold stars on it. But we got a teapot for Christmas in 1978. That thing was very dangerous. My dad took it down to the desert, and Gene, our neighbor, shot it with a rifle. Those were the first eyes in our neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, our legs were very ungainly. That was the only bread for about four months with those three braided sugar rolls. Somehow cinnamon got into my guess coffee's been here since 1801. Those coffee lids with the separation of it means a sign of peace. But it has the bubble gum as part of it. That comes from petroleum and little schools. It holds the top of the fruit in. So you can see inside parts of the body. I don't think you can see inside everything. Everything is everything. <laughs> I was told that in New York the next day. Uh, somebody handed me a glass of champagne and I saw prima ballerinas. They were so thin, but their legs were nice and they all weighed. There was about six, seven, or eight of them. And I found a quarter behind one of their pink slippers. And I saw the heels of it. They have wood in their toes. Very painful. Anyway, I, I got up and they all gasped and I found raspberry yogurt. They didn't have a label, but as I rubbed the quarter against it to keep my fingers from being frozen, I thought there was a lot of land and that it was always Christmas or coal. That was my third night in New York City. I went there to become a writer because I knew that the East Coast has very little food and a lot of people. Also, more New Yorkers get married than anyone else. Chicago rates highest in divorce, separated families. Welfare was started in 1936, the same year as the Dewey Decibel System. 
the libraries came about, come about over three years. I'll be around about Pinocchio. Yeah, that man who assaulted me this morning, I went to a movie with him and he ordered a caramel bar <coughs> and ate it in front of the exit doors. I was thinking about being touched on the nose by a light bulb. That is what you'd see if you pigged out on chocolate in front of a theater as a kid. My jacket's going out of style. I've lost a lot of wool. Those paper bags are related to red hair. To mine, anyway, because I used to fill up sacks of candy for my friends on holiday. We had three, or just two Halloweens together. We'd eat gumball after gumball, sweet tarts. We never heard of teeth or sugar or mom or anything like that. And we had rotten teeth by the time we were seven years old. But I went to private school for three years before I learned about Jesus. We'd run and kick balls, and the teachers would watch us. They were a reflection off of bowling pins. There was a bowling alley that we retreated to in the evening. It had uh, 21 lanes of bowling. That's before numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 51. <clears throat> I had a big hump. That was all I ate for lunch for about four years. Those nuts were soft then. That's when people were really scared. I know the feeling. But you can't carry it with you. I was voted Democratic Recycling Committee Chairperson. And uh, it was, the Bush was elected president the next day. That was my first day of black and white television. I thought the world had died. Because I, wa I started watching television when I was two days old. I saw Bewitched, Samantha Stevens. Somehow I got into kindergarten and painted a flag. My arms were real short and they were puffed up. So they took me to a hospital and laid me under cool sheets and gave me strawberry sherbet, a little glass of root beer, and I kept that glass for 18 years. <laughs> it made my kitchen counter. When I took it down, I was 16 then. I'd just gotten home from Hawaii. I was being hooked out then. When, uh, one didn't come to class. We ran down the street, and I met a woman named Mrs. Lipford, and she fed me for the day. The next day, a woman flew in from Wisconsin. She was hoping to be a nurse. That's what I thought. Oh. And she became my mother. It's, it's hard to record details of life when you're uh, <clears throat> just home from the hospital. One man had a bump on his head an inch high. But I did get some sleep and get to wash my feet, my body. Uh, got to read Mark Twain, How to Paint a Fence. Did some push-ups and jumping jacks. Watched television for 18 hours. That's six days. Saw bee scenes, bottles of wine, a nice defeated dress with black lace. Saw my mom's living room. Yeah, yeah, when I found out that I had a mom, I smiled to myself and I always have kept my secret. Most people don't know what a secret is. That, that would be a personal flesh. Item, but I had cancer. I was 
I was on life support. I only had legs as I walked up to Terrell Street. I wasn't interested in the front of my body. That was my second afternoon in San Francisco. It was really hot. The sun was blazing and going everywhere. People were eating bagels, coffee, spilling, uh, recycling. I did that at Peach Coffee when they denied me a raisin bagel. I finally find a jar of sour cream and a man split his bagel with me. Then he asked for it back, but I, I didn't give it to him. I felt so bad, I thought I'd starve him to death. But I found him outside the, the door and we took a taxi ride up to the Cadillac market. They just had one door in there, but they did have a cash machine made from taxi stores. That silver made by water, soft drinks, white socks, pink vagina, apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Then I went to McDonald's. Are you a good cook? I like grease. I can take hot temperatures in cooking. But cool soda is my favorite. But it's hard to be away from the world. That's what drinking does. It takes you away. Yeah, I was in bond night. The fifth day in San Francisco, it turned to evening really rapidly. And the bus stop went in where people were almost dead. You know, they'd been on Earth for about 65 hours without a juice or anything. So I bought a cranberry juice and a stack of styrofoam cups. And that day I found out that seal containers make you hard of hearing. Later that same year, I was behind cardboard. A man stacked up what he thought was a homeless. He nearly murdered me. I nearly lost uh, my right breast, which is milk and, and creamery diet. I had a jar of cool cream that I drank the whole thing, and I started training for the Olympics that afternoon. I was 12 years old. I finally got flesh on my face before then, my bones. I was in the movie Elephant Years. When I was 18, I was sad and I was so ugly that I scared people. About 12, that's your formative years. That's about the time you start worrying about the world events comes next. I saw NBC programming and I watched 60 Minutes that night and I saw drug dealing. How people would bust into your house in uniform and just stand there and the fat people, those are the saddest people on earth. That means someone in their life is crying, or they are. But water is part of tears, so you should drink it so that you, you can have a, a grape or something like that. That sustained me for four hours that I waited in front of the office for a check or a glass of soup. <laughs> That's about hooking in New Orleans. I was 15 years old then on my way to become a Navy SEAL. But I got rained out of the bus and the and, uh, uniform man came in and let me board to Montana. And I worked there for seven months to pay for a backpack and uh, a bowling bag to take into the Army. Because he was uniformed, I thought that was handsome. I liked the color green and gold and black. It was lace, it was dignified. That was the first uniform I saw. Then I came home that night and my dad had on a tan robe. I thought, wow, you really do have to share clothes. I thought, what was that other thought? And all I could think of was love was a giving thing as my dad tied the robe around his thin waist. He was just getting it together then, but he lost it the next morning. And I was so young, I had never heard of food or eggs or cracking open or hard work. So he bought me a bike for 17 cents. He made it from his bottle caps. People thought they were money. Slave man, I learned magic that day. My friend, she was uh, my gymnast partner. She used to watch me, we'd do stretches together and I'd look at her legs and up her pussy and I saw gold there. 
and that was my first uh, uh, range of uh, sports equipment. Yeah, that was all the clothes we had with shorts. Some would come in with just a white t-shirt on. We thought that was cool until the shower started running and people were streaked with water and no oil afterwards. I remember that day now, my skin so dry. I ran down the road ready to just kill someone. And I said, someone, is that us? And there was a deli there, or a fine restaurant that would be if they're starving and at home from my school. I called restaurants a, a school too, because you will learn what people look like and what they can do. <clears throat> and by eating with them, that can take seven hours. And What's your favorite food? Uh, broccoli noodles with spiced beef. I had a garlic farm. It was 12 acres. That next night I went to the uh, beach and it turned morning in four hours. I had to walk through grass. I met two girls there. One was behind me, one was in front of me. I put her on my back. I didn't know the word uh, lifting weights, but I learned that day. She had a little sports uh, backyard. We built a hot tub with boys' legs. We were nearly murdered for doing that as we boarded the ferry. They came at us with an axe and darts and everything. That's what that redwood made. We stayed out of hot tubs. As I was so exhausted and so on my own, I hadn't made it yet. There were just 17 people in the world. I went around poking in the taxi window on my way to a hot tub. A man had invited me. He drank water and he wouldn't give me any, so I put my hand on his knee and squeezed it, and then he became a happy camper. I I think that's probably when you came into existence. He's healthy, he's your friend. I laid on that table and he put a warm towel on my back and I slept for 17 hours. I revived, ready to take on the world. I walked downtown, saw the opera center, very non very. I thought the world was not in very good shape. I walked without water, so I, went on a 12 mile hike up to General Hospital seeking hills because I know the water runs downhill. And all I had was a roast beef sandwich, very thirsty, so I asked for a token. And the world was still so low that they gave it to me. I found a McDonald's and ordered a coat. Never heard of money being paid for, for by a dying person. And she gave me the coke and she came over to the table and her hips made a man named Gene Kelly. Now McDonald's is responsible for putting in videos for delayed syndrome. You take the bus, I'll go shopping. The kid's born, he delayed syndrome. You better meet up somehow. Stand outside the door and show me your leg or your coat. Camel hair coat, tan clothing will make you head and run if you're, if you're a brunette girl. Brunette is usually the love of spicy food and late night. Probably one room, though, only dark hair. When cardboard first appeared, that's the first day I gave up my birth certificate. I had done 15 jumping jacks, knowing that you had to entertain yourself when, when the world is wrong. And it was. There were no maps or bus stops. Just that one down in Bond, but that was shaken by rain and smoke. <clears throat> Evelyn, what's the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Uh, not to mix marriage and pleasure. If you want to marry someone, just say, um, would you like an orange? And if they don't want the orange, then they're not right for you. Because your mind is the right one. That was my leaving of home. I saw those thoughts and wrote it down on a postcard. And my dad kept that letter. When I came home from the army, I still wanted to be a Navy SEAL. I went down the road and there was a gigantic pool and I dived in and had a terrific afternoon. 
as I climbed out, two women were born, one was 13, one was two years old. And she's still very fragile. <clears throat> I went to LA the next day, so cool from the pool. It was just 34 miles away from the pool. But that was before clock, so I thought it was three and a half miles. I walked into a front yard and the door slammed and closed and slammed and closed. And I didn't know the word hurt or kidnapping or murder or anything like that. I thought I was still going to be refreshed or saved. And if I wanted to touch the door and go into a home and meet people to tell them about the pool and what a fine day I had. I touched a lot and a woman looked out a square of window and she scared me to death. I ran all the way home and cried against the neighbor's window. And I played as a seven-year-old putting my fingers on my head and pretending I was a horse. Ran around in the grass until it burned. Went next door, almost ready to kill for shoes. That's how angry children can be when they're neglected. But somebody will ride them. They may get a broken cheekbone from somebody who's homeless. Most people don't have any fastenings. I was, I became uh, president of the Democratic Chairman Committee when I, when I found a, my, uh, um, when I found a public school library. That was the first where I saw PRES in written form. What do you think of our president? Uh, I like Clinton. He's from the South. He eats good. And his college partner, Hillary, is not his wife, that's his college partner, Bill Clinton and Hillary. He's kind of a professor guy, but he's more of a farmer and a lazy fat ass. He's a redneck. So is Jimmy Carter. Somebody, hard work, knives, spoons. Spoons not very interesting to men. Forks will make a cloth. You can eat beans and, and laxative foods. Beans heat up in fields, they'll grow under sand and can find their way out. If you keep walking, if you go barefoot, let your feet get salt on them from the earth the way people move. Most people are in tears, but panic attacks are the worst. Or salt to the face, back, neck, or leg, ankle, toe. So I took ballet lessons for seven hours. I paid 15 cents that my dad had given <clears throat> me from a knot in my bikini. I, that was my only friend for 13 years. Was that yellow polka dot bikini? It had pink flowers. One was down here where my breasts were and even one's big. But they're still nice if boys like sweet icing. I won a cakewalk when I was seven years old. I was taking to school to see why the teacher would come back. That was all the thought we had. I thought, that's very good. And I found sports equipment and played in my uh, backyard. Bat netting was next. That made the Saudi Arabia tent. So I took it on. I rode my bikes through the desert. Bikes were free back then. We'd trade them. We'd find them all over the place. They changed from orange to purple to red. They were real pretty. You'd just see the end of red in the evening. I remember that night. Black. Black has been here. That's part of tar, the earth melting and moving. I walked across a, a, a volcano. Easter has existed since 1 BC. That's the edge of the ocean. You can't find shells down there. That's what you have to give to someone for a holiday or to pray them. I started singing that as I found the cardboard. It was layered up. I thought it was interesting because I've always known that song, James Brown. Well, I have since New Orleans. I was uh, kept from going on the bus because it had no seats. They were being used in schools. Yeah, but we were chased by axes for putting up that hot tub with boys' legs. But they were just lying all over the floor. So I learned creation theory in the forest. 
They just had two inches of water. I, my brother wanted to go to college. He left that afternoon for Arizona in his truck. For some reason, he likes gasoline. Evelyn, do you believe in God? Yeah, I do. Not all the time. I get too worn out. He probably does, too. It can be just a piece of food that you're missing. But you'll feel better if you stay away from words like uh, flower power, stuff like that. That'll make you walk into someone because everybody likes a nice person. But that'll make you a real fast food. I've learned that people are not loyal. They get sunburned. Forrest Gump, he's, even though he's a black man, he's a redneck. And he likes girls. He'll give them their props. Props, hairbrushes, candy bars, let them look in there. Look at his black socks, his mismatched shoes. Dream weaver, I believe we can touch the morning sky. There will always be an answer. Then I was in Seattle selling, uh, I was in two places at one time. One, I was a cashier. I saw the cash drawer and it didn't interest me at all because I had so few clothes. Suddenly I was in Portland and my sister appeared. I'd seen her marriage. She and her husband are still in love. Uh, they own a farm and she milks cows and raises goats. That's her private life. Because I reached out, I was visiting her to say goodbye to vitamins, and she said, have you told you dear? I speak differently than her because I'm three years uh, younger than her in college years, but she was born 83 months before me on Christmas Eve, 1956. My mother was so happy. I remember her face. I was, I was two years old. How that happened, I do not know. Probably the fat on my mother's arms from her bread taking. She's from Montana. Evelyn, would you like me to take you back? I don't want to wear you out. Yeah, sure. I don't want you to get too tired here. Sure. Maybe we'll do this again tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Thank you, darling. That was wonderful. Sure. It's always fun listening to you. Thank you.